waiting, I think it's fair to say, expecting a move like this from Donald Trump and the platforms announced what they were going to do ahead of time. Facebook, here you are. Look at this. This is the press conference. This was the live feed on Donald Trump's page. They added this at the bottom. This was the label they had unveiled if any candidate was going to declare victory prematurely. And what is really interesting is in a tweet, Facebook using Twitter to explain their policies a bit more, but there we go. It's, this is the world we live in. Um, they really focused in on Donald Trump calling the president out by name. Now, we've seen labels applied to President Trump's tweets in the past. On Facebook particularly, that's been generic labels pointing you to information sources. Look at this, though. Once President Trump began making premature claims of victory, Facebook said they took this action, saying that official results are not in. As you were hearing from Ray there, the claims from the president are baseless, that this is fraudulent, votes are still being counted. Fact checkers are going wild on social media, but so too is misinformation fueled by these comments from the president. There was huge pressure on the platforms to have an answer about what they were going to do about these comments. It was expected the president would say this. On Twitter, it's a bit different. So the president, before he spoke at that press conference, put out a tweet. Now, you'll see here that that tweet was effectively uh, blocked in some senses. It's not immediately apparent. If you want to look at it, you have to click in. But the, uh, there's a very clear label at the top there saying the tweet is disputed. It could be misleading. This label means that the tweet is effectively hidden from view. It's suppressed in that sense. You also can't like it or retweet it. You have to quote tweet it. It might sound like a load of gibberish there, but it basically means the interaction you have with this post is drastically different to a normal post. It's effectively sticking a tag on it. And uh, we know uh, Eric Trump at least has accused Twitter of censorship here. Now, a lot of people saying, well, despite all this robust action, these posts remain on the site. Many people saying they're not true. And you can see the anger directed at the platforms, even though they have put this into action. Uh, if I can just focus in then perhaps on the reaction, uh, quite understandably, from a lot of Democratic politicians, I think it's summed up here. You got references to George Orwell in these comments. Rosie, this is a fight I think we expected. Comments from the president we expected. But now it's playing out in our social media feeds. Looking at Twitter, at least, you think America is heading for a constitutional row, if, if not a constitutional crisis, in the hours to come. 